What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name's Laura and if you want to learn how to get a flatter stomach, then keep on watching. Before I begin, I want you to understand that there's no such thing as spot reduction, meaning you can't lose fat from a specific spot on your body. But I'm going to share eight tips that can help you achieve that flatter stomach that everyone wants. My first tip is to drink more water because all too often people will confuse hunger for thirst. If you're not sure how much water you should be drinking every day, I'm gonna give you a quick little tip. So you should be drinking half of your body weight in ounces. My second tip is to eat smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day, rather than sitting down and just eating until you're uncomfortable because when you do that, that's gonna spike your blood sugar levels. And when you spike your blood sugar levels, then you spike your insulin levels. And when your insulin levels are high, that's when you store body fat, especially around your midsection. My third tip is to eat less sugar because sugar raises your insulin levels. And remember what I just told you, the higher your insulin level is, the more likely it is that you're gonna store body fat. My fourth tip may seem a little obvious, but it is to exercise, and not only focusing on abdominal exercises, but rather full body exercises, because these have been proven to build core strength. Some examples include squats, deadlifts, overhead presses, kettlebell swings, and plyometrics. And if you wanna know some of my favorite ab exercises, they would be planks. And there's tons of variations. My fifth tip is to avoid these three things in excess. Chewing gum, carbonated beverages, and artificial sweeteners. All three of these will mess up with your digestion and cause bloating, and that's a no-no when we want a flat stomach. My sixth tip is to avoid high sodium foods, as these cause bloating as well. My two favorite salt-free seasonings are Mrs. Dash and cayenne pepper. And some of you may already know, but cayenne pepper on foods will help speed up your metabolism as well. And if you really do want to use salt, try opting for a sea salt because it has less sodium when compared to regular table salt. My seventh tip is to incorporate some cardio into your weekly routine because cardio burns a ton of calories the more calories are burning, the more weight we'll lose and the flatter the stomach will have. Now there's two different types of cardio that I want you to do. There's LIST, which stands for Low Intensity Steady State, and this is good for maintaining muscle while also working on your aerobic capacity. And then there's HIT, which is High Intensity Interval Training, and this just burns a ton of calories and it also takes you longer to recover from HIT which means you'll be burning calories for up to 24 hours after you do it. All right, my eighth and final tip, and probably the most important, is to make sure your diet is in check. Make sure it's a well-balanced, you're avoiding processed foods and eating whole grains. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today. I hope you guys learned something new and can incorporate it into your daily lifestyles. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like these educational videos and I'll be sure to do some more and subscribe if you haven't already. See ya!